here uh, we need to find out the derivative of the following things uh, here we have three functions I mean three equations we do have one is x to the power 5 another is 5 times x to the power 7 another is 3x square plus 5x plus 7 now we need to find out the derivative of this uh, these all functions using appropriate rules right and you should be able to find out how we need to find out right means which 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 exactly the rule I need to apply here right <coughs> whether I have to apply power rule, whether I have to apply sum rules or what or what or what, I don't know, right? So, so uh, here, question clearly saying we don't have to use first principle method, we don't have to do uh, like definition method, so that's awesome because that is a little bit lengthy method. Now we can use easily shortcuts, I mean uh, power rules and other things because see some base has a certain power here. So that is why I will use here power rule. So first one I'm doing here, here let me suppose my function y or you can say a function f of x right uh, you, you can use anyone uh, whatever you like right so I'm writing y because I like y y equals to x to the power 5 now what is my uh, derivative of this y so derivative of this y dy by dx what I will write so before writing I'm writing a power rule so what is my power rule if x has the power n and if we have to find out the derivative of this thing then it is actually power times x to the power n minus 1 one less in power all right so that is why same stuff I'm going to do here power what I have 9 uh, sorry n right so here n is my 5 so here I'm also going to write 5 first so my 5 times base is now x right as it is so x to the power to the power minus 1 right so exactly just compare here x to the power 5 and here is x to the power n so power time base to the power right n minus 1 similarly here ba like power times whatever I have the base and in into that power minus 1 all right <coughs> so finally what I get I get 5 x to the power of 4 that's my answer so this is the derivative of this function right so finally what do we get derivative of the function f of x or you can say uh, dy by dx is what 5x4 all right if you imagine like uh, f prime of x I had given you don't confuse because I had already told you it is a derivative suppose f of x all right no now let's do the second one so I think you can easily do this now second one the same same process we're going to follow here let me suppose my function f of x or you can say y is 5 times x to the power 7 it is right and uh, now therefore dy by dx it means derivative of the function y with respect to x is actually since this is a constant I already told you right many times I think I had repeated constant we keep inside right we don't want to talk with the constant now let's talk with the x to the power 7 so here x is my base and power is 7 so power rule I'm going to apply my power times my base and in the power of the base it will be 7 minus 1 one less it will be right always so now what I'm going to get 7 times 5 I'll get 35 right now we need to talk with the 5 actually because 7 times 5 uh, finally we are going to write the answer so that's why we need to talk with the power uh, with the constant also so that's why x to the power 7 minus 1 that is x to the power 6 so this is my answer simple you know the finding derivative is very very easy I really love to find out the derivative any types of the problem once you clear your all basic concepts you can find out any 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 much more difficult give me any type of the problem you'll say after a certain time give me any problem sir I will solve it out this is very easy but for those things you know for getting such a uh, like uh, good things uh, like getting such a uh, good practice, uh, you, you need a good practice. I mean to say, actually, to get but that much sharp on in this topic, to get sharp on this topic, and to to quickly find out the derivative of anything. So, you know, you have to do a lot of practice, a lot of practice. Practice only can make you success here. There is no other means to get success in this uh, derivative chapter. All right. So, friend, as much practice as you can, please do. This will only help you here. This is only the secret of getting success in this chapter. Alright. So again, let me find out this one derivative. So y is actually here. 3x square plus 
5 x plus 7 so now my derivative will be dy derivative of y with respect to x is actually now I'm going to apply directly here power rule here power rule and here power rule. three times I will use power rule right one by one since this is a coefficient see as coefficient I used to write uh, separately so three right and then this power times x to the power power minus one all right and again this is coefficient so I'll write inside and then again what is the power it has power is one so by the way I'm writing here but next time around I will not write these things right so one is here right this one power times x to the power whatever we have one will be minus there and here is a single constant man right so derivative of constant man is always single is right is a constant nothing like it will be zero so now we're gonna get the derivative 3 times 2 that is 6 and x in the power there is 2 minus 1 so it will be 6x and 5 right and x in the power 1 minus 1 that's gonna be actually x to the power 0 and any 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 base or any variable has a power 0 it means 1 you're good in indices I know that alright so this is my derivative this is my answer alright so we find it out yeah well done right we finished all <laughs> well uh, so in next videos I'll be doing a little bit more complex with different types of the problem with uh, different rules and a lot of things will I will be doing there so keep in touch watch all the videos thanks for watching bye bye